Ja. What do you want from me now? I hear you're at odds with Apprentice Florian. At odds? I'll give you at odds. It's that sod's fault they took my Esther. Poor girl. I shudder to think what's become of her. What exactly happened? This man came in wanting a bath, and Esther with it. She doesn't normally offer that kind of service, but I didn't see the harm, so I sent her in to him. And suddenly I hear screams. So I run out, and I see the bastard pulling her out of the tent and shoving her into a boat. I'm sorry they took her, but what exactly has it got to do with Florian? They shouted at me to tell Florian that when he wises up, he'll get the girl back. I assume that Florian knows this, Esther. You know, village girls. They don't get much of a choice. Every other knave has a turnip for a brain. And if they don't, they're relatives. And then some young dandy turns up who writes her little poems. What's the poor girl to do? And this is how it ends. She should have stuck with the turnip heads. It sounds like you were close to Esther. I loved her like my very own. She came to me as an orphan, like a wolf child she was. I raised her and taught her and gave her a job, and now she's gone. Who knows if she's even alive? Goodbye. <laughs> Good health to you. You look quite sprightly for an invalid. What? Who the hell are you? My name's Henry, and I'm making inquiries for Sir Radzig Kobola. And what do you want from me? Straight to the point then. All right. I've been investigating counterfeit money, and the trail led me straight to you. Does the name Rapporto mean anything to you? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe? Don't bother. I know you know him. You make the punch dice for the counterfeiters. How do you hand them over? Do you know where their workshop is? I can't say anything. I'll deny everything and you've got nothing on me. No evidence, just accusations. It's got something to do with that girl, hasn't it? How do you know? That doesn't matter. No, I, I suppose not. I didn't want to get involved, I swear. Those bastards kidnapped Esther. If I don't cooperate, they'll kill her. I'm sorry about that. Me too. Listen. I'll tell you everything, I promise. But only if I know that Esther's safe. What, so I'm to go searching for her in the woods? I know where they're keeping her, but nobody will help me. And what can puny little me do faced with those strapping great villains? Very well. I'll bring back your Esther. Really? Yes, but then you have to tell me everything. I will. I swear to God Almighty. Please, just bring her back to me. Nothing else matters. Where are they keeping her? In the Scallet's Hills. There are some abandoned cottages around the mines. That's where I saw her last. They took me there when I said they had to let me speak to her. All right. I'll go there and try and think of something. You're my saviour. Don't get your hopes up. Anything could happen. See you later. <laughs>
You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Two arms! <laughs> well now, look what's coming ah! rolling out. Ah! Over here! Where is... <laughs> did you find me? Florian told me where they took you. I'm a fool. I thought he was just a dandy, God knows why. And it turns out he's a villain in league with thieves. And a coward too. This whole time he knew where I was. It's not Florian's fault. He was terrified they'd do something to you. They had him over a barrel. You're right. Poor Florian must have been more scared than me. I'd say so. We should probably set off. I'll go with you. I'd hate to lose you on the way. What is it you want here? <coughs> Has something happened? I found that Esther of yours. I know! Back already. How can I ever thank you? By telling me all about the goings-on with Rapata. They found me in the tavern one evening. Caught me when I went to the ship pile. They started to badger me about working for them. They? Yes. Rapata. And a night they called Sir Yezek. And then what? They explained what they wanted from me and I told them to sod off. I'm guessing that didn't go down too well. It wasn't all that bad. They just threw me on the dung heap and left. I thought it was just a drunkard's joke. But then they took Esther. Where will I find Rapata? He's usually wherever I am. What does that mean? He watches me. Everywhere I go. And when I'm at home, he sits on the bench in the square, watching my house. So he's there now? Hard to say. Sometimes I see him in the tavern on the green, buying supplies. All right. At least I know where to start. And you go to work tomorrow, you hear? Why? Because we have to lure him out. And besides, your master will surely be glad to see you. I have my doubts. I suppose I'd better go. I'd hate the bastard to get away. Good luck, and thanks for the help. Goodbye. Are you Rapporteur, by any chance? Pardon me? Do we know each other? No, but I'm hoping to change that. Uh, um, well, I, I don't have much time right now. I'd best be off. It'll only take a moment. Um, all right then. What do you want? 
I know that you spy on Florian. I know you were involved in the kidnapping of the bathmaid, and I know why you're doing it all. Ah. Uh, it seems there's no point making excuses. None. Now tell me where their workshop is. Of course, of course. That... that will be the best solution. So? Uh, let's leave it for another time. No, I give up! So, are you ready to talk? I will, I will. Just don't hurt me, please. What do you want from me? Tell me where the workshop is. Don't worry. Your master won't be punishing you for betraying him. You're both going to have too many other problems. It's in the Scullet's mines. That doesn't narrow it down very much. On the eastern side of Scullet's Hill, there's an abandoned mine gallery. Well, it used to be abandoned. Now there's a small camp in front of it and the workshop is inside. Who is your lord? So Yezhek of Ronoff. That's what he calls himself, although Ronoff Castle's long gone. What happened to it? Ronoff used to belong to Vincent, Count Lichtenberg. After his death, it fell to Margrave Jobst, and he had it pulled down. He knew full well that Vincent's vassals would resist him. Why? Everyone knows that when a lord dies without issue, the king can confer his estate on whoever he pleases. But Vincent had descendants. Ronoff only fell to the Margrave because he declared them all illegitimate. All because Vincent had refused to fight for him against Sir Prokop. Sir Yezhek led a revolt of the vassals, but Jobst rounded them all up. Only Sir Yezhek got away. Since then, he's become the scourge of the domain. Who are you, anyway? They call me Rapota. I used to be the executioner's henchman in Brno. And how did you come to be serving Sir Yezhek? I helped him escape from prison. If I was going to serve anyone, better Sir Yezhek than the executioner. So you saw being a brigand's henchman as a step up in the world? I thought if things changed and he stopped marauding, he might get Ronoff back and take me into his service. Well, after this little escapade, you can forget about that. You'll be lucky if you don't end up swinging on the gallows. It's all the same anyway now. I've betrayed him. So who's Sir Yezhek working for? Don't tell me he just took it into his head one day to start forging coins. That's not for me to know. So Yezhek was on speaking terms with various lordships. Such as? We were often guests at the monastery, but I slept in the hayloft, so I heard nothing. And apart from that? Well, in the camp, you'd occasionally see a Hungarian nobleman, but I don't know what he was doing there, or who he is. I think I've heard enough. Can I ask you something? Yes? I don't want to hang. It's a horrible death. I'd prefer you just kill me here and now. An honorable death? No chance. It's the dungeons for you, and the sort of punishment a counterfeiter deserves. Don't worry. In time, you'll be glad of the gallows. I've been sat here a fucking month. One no bit to me. Anywhere. I finally found out where the forger's workshop is. Master Feyfar was right. The forgers are sticking close to the supply source. Their workshop is somewhere in the mines. The entrance is on the eastern side of the hill. I've no idea what to expect there, but I'd rather go there with some backup. I will be glad to give it. Lead on.
Who are you, and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. And who's he? That's no concern of yours. I'm sure we could come to some sort of agreement. Uh, I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Please, don't take this personally. Wait! What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. That is unfortunate. I have orders to kill everyone involved in this business. You can't do that! I have no choice, as you are aware. Why do you want to kill him? He may have valuable information. For that exact reason, my master does not wish this man to fall into the wrong hands, especially those of Radzik Kobila. You can tell your lord the man is dead. He'll never find out. But he will. Or do you think you can lock this man away from sight until Judgment Day? Why not? Do not be naive, boy. Look around you. This land swarms with rats and snakes, especially now. There is no secret that is not for sale. If I let you have him, my own head will be on a spike before the month is out. You don't have to go back to the Rosenbergs. How do you know about the Rosenbergs? Master Feyfar recognized the writing on your letter of passage. Just as I said, there is nothing safe from prying eyes in this land. And where would you suggest I go? Into Sir Radzik's service. He needs people like you. I serve Kubila. Out of the question. If he learned of all that I did for the Rosenbergs, he would hang me from the nearest tree. But you are right, I do not have to return to the Rosenbergs. In fact, I cannot. Why not? I am a knight without a crest, without allegiance. No one was meant to know whom I serve. If the Rosenbergs hear that I have been found out, they will see to it I vanish. They cannot afford to be associated with me. Where will you go then? Where the road takes me, as I have many times before. Farewell, Henry. Auf Wiedersehen.
Let's go. Master Fayfar is very keen to meet you. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Fayfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Ratai then. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. Greetings. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me... Beat some answers out of him. No wonder he doesn't want to talk to you. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Henry. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor... You're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Do you really want to question the authority of the Margrave? I've always been loyal to the Crown, but what can I do when the Margrave stole my fief? That's not why we're here. I don't care about your conflict with the Margrave. It's your crimes against the King I'm worried about. The King you say you've always been so loyal to. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. 
But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sasau, that armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month. So I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sasau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps, you're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sasau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. This Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this, Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, nah, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring, and someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, 
So Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. So Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I think I know where I could ask. I helped at the infirmary in Sasau, and there was a wounded man there by the name of Thomas, a suspicious type to say the least. He might know something. Good. I'd rather see you seeking out better company, but that can't be helped. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. As you command, sir. Henry? Huh?